Hello everybody, Swami Nath here. Today we are going to see SAP MM case studies. So first of all, what is case studies? A detailed examination of a real world subject. Real world business scenario. Real world business processes. That is case study. Now let's get into the subject directly. Let's go to SAP screen. I'm going to create a purchase order. Go to ME21 here. What is purchase order? It's an order confirmation with the vendor. See, see the video, watch the video till the end. Then you will know what the case studies is all about. What I'm going to do. Purchase, organization, enter materials, plant, Let me save this. Let me take this. Let me take this. Purchase order number. Let's go to, I'm going to boots reserved. Vendor is sending me the material. I'm going to post it in SAP system. In my micro transaction code, I'm going to do boots reserved. Let's go to boots reserved. Purchase order. Let me enter the purchase order number here. Item OK and post. Let me do item OK and post. Item OK and post. Let me post this. Let me open a notepad. This is my purchase order number. Storage location, I didn't enter. Click on to non-order item. Let me enter storage location. YN01 is my storage location and post. Post. Let me take material document now. Let's take this material document. Taking this material document. Material document. Finally, I'm going to, vendor is giving me the invoice. I'm going to, just, I'm going to post it in SAP system. Slash in MIR. Let me enter the invoice date. Calculate tax. Enter this purchase order number here. This is my purchase order number. This is my purchase order number. This is the amount I have to post it in system. Payable. Accounts payable. Bills payable. Baseline date and post. Let me post this. This is the standard process. Now let's go to display slash in ME 23 N. 23 N. I'm going to display purchase order. Purchase order, other purchase order. Enter my purchase order number here. Present. See, purchase order is here. In the material document, the material document already I have taken it. Let me show you. This is the material document number. Already I have taken it. And this is the material dog. This is the material dog. Okay. Click on, let me click on to this material dog. Go to document info. FI document. Click on to FI document. The two documents are generated. One is accounting document. Other one is material dog. Material ledger dog. First, let's go to accounting dog. In the accounting document, see here, GRIR, WRX, BSX, WRX and BSX transaction. See, account number, this is GL account, one Let's go to OBYC transaction. So this is the place where FICO has been integrated. GL account is FICO will be created by FICO. So I'm just analyzing it. This is the case study. Go to analyze it. Where it is getting integrated and where it is getting posted. See here, this is the place it has got posted. Oh, 15,000 euros. Okay, let's go to OBYC transaction code. OBYC transaction code. Now, what is that? BSX. BSX transaction. BSX transaction. Okay, now see here, BSX. This is the BSX transaction. 
market transaction PSX. Let me double click on this line item. My chart of account is OBYC. Transaction code OBYC. Sorry, chart of account is OBYC. COA. That is where it is getting posted. One three one double zero triple zero. One three one double zero triple zero. See here. One three one double zero triple zero. And the the ZOB is. Z001 is valuation class in material master. Valuation class in material master. Let's go to material here. What is the material? Let's come back. Close this. Let's go to material. 6626. 6626 is my material. Let's go to MM03. MM03 is my material. Display material. 6626. 6626. Let's Press enter, enter, YN01, YN01 is my storage location. Now go to accounting. Let's go to accounting. See here accounting. So Z001, see here Z001. This is the place it has got integrated here. Now 131. Double zero triple zero. I am going to create this and I'm going to change this one three one double zero triple zero. Okay. Let me create that. This is the case study. We'll do a case study slash it where it is getting posted. That is the case study. Okay. Where the material is getting posted. That is case study. And now this is also the place where FI document. WRX. Let's go for WRX next. Accounting document. WRX. See here. WRX. 2112100. Let's go to OBYC transaction code. WRX. Come back. WRX. Scroll down. It will be on the bottom of it. See here. WRX. Double leg. See here. 2122112000. Same here. Two one two two double one two double zero double. I'm going to change both the. I'm going to change both the account here. Okay. Now let's go back. Go to FS zero zero. FS zero zero. Here I'm going to create the GL account and I'm going to change the GL account in OBYC transaction. Let's go to new entry one three one one three one double zero double zero one. It was double zero double zero double zero triple zero. Now I'm going to change it to double zero double zero one. I'm going to change it where it is going to get posted is the case step. Okay, go to balance sheet account and material management account. Select material management account. Now, material account. Material inventory. Inventory account. Go to control data. Only balances with local currency. Select only input taxes allowed. Only input taxes allowed. Only input taxes allowed. Go to create bank interest. Here I'm going to select material accounts. Material accounts. Post automatically one day. Okay. Now, let me take this. Instead of this GL account, instead of this GL account, I have created this account. This is old account. This is old account. This is new account. New account. Okay. New account. Now, let me save this control as save. So, I have saved it. Now, next, 
I'm going to create another one more. Create two double one two triple zero one. Previously, it was two double one two double zero double zero. That is hold up. What do case step hold up is zero. This is old account. And I'm going to change it with new account. Old account. I'm going to change it with new account. This is new account. GL account. This is the case study I've got. Okay. Now let's go to FS00 200002 one Continue. Type and description, select balance sheet account, again material management account, now here invoice, posting, material, camera, material, Material control data go to control data only balances to local currency. Select input tax posting without tax allowed. Sort key 014. It's my sort key. But say sort order management. Select open order management or open item management. Go to Field status group, I have to select YB45. YB, let's check it. YB45. Let's scroll down. YB45. Goods invoice. See? Goods invoice receipt clearing account. Post automatically only save it. Let me save this. Now I have created two accounts. Now let me go to OBYC. OBYC transaction code and code. Let's go to OBYC transaction code. BSX. Double A to BSX. YCOA is my chat up account. Continue. Now, set. Go to change this. This. This is my new account. That is old account, new account. Go to change it here. And save. Continue. This is the case studies. Go to OBYC. Another OBYC. WRX. Go to WRX. WRX. Double A. Y YCOA. Continue. Now I'm going to change it here. This is my new account. Old account I'm going to remove. And new account I'm going to post it here. Let me post it here. And save. Done. Now let's create a purchase order. Go to ME21. ME21. Supplier. This is the case study where it gets posted. Let me enter storage location over here itself. YN01. Let's see. Let me take this purchase order. Let me take this purchase order. Let's go to goods reserve slash and MICO goods reserve. Enter the purchase order number here. Press enter. Now, item OK and post. Scroll to your right. Item OK and post. Let's go to MIR slash and MIR. Enter invoice date, date, calculate tax, select bear, purchase order number here, 16500, 16500. Baseline date, let me enter the baseline date 
and seven. Just simulate it. We'll check it here. See here, GL account which I have done. I have created, it's been posted. This is the GL account. Old GL account is this. Now it has got changed. Let's check that. Go to post. Go to slash MB23N. Purchase order display. Purchase order display. Purchase order display. This is my purchase order. This is my purchase order. Now click on to metal down and check whether BSX in BSX it has got posted in that new GLR document info. FI document. Accounting document. Double link. Now see it has got it is getting posted in. This is the case studies. See here the new account. Let me open the notepad which I have created. See, this is the account it is getting posted. And this account which I have created has been posting. Been getting posted here. See here. It's getting posted. Here. This is the case study where it is getting posted in this case study. So I'm getting, I'm doing detailed examination of where it is getting posted. That is case study. Thank you.